once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff, and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today we are reviewing a pipe tobacco blend. And the blend we're reviewing is this. GLP's Maltese Falcon. That's right, we're reviewing GLP's Maltese Falcon. It is produced by Cornell and Deal, blended, of course, by GLP's. And it is available at Smoking Pipes. There's a two ounce tin like this available for around $12.75, eight ounce tin for about $42.50. At Pipes and Cigars, the two ounce tin is $12.11 as of the recording of this video, and the eight ounce is $41.23. Now, Maltese Falcon is a very popular blend. It is one that I have had many people request many times that I review. And the first impressions video, the response I got on that, a lot of people said it was their favorite English blend of all time. So this is a big one, and it's been an interesting one for me to review. I've been smoking it for about two weeks now since I did that first impressions video. And let's get into it here. We have a tin description, which is so insanely small. Lord above. I think I can read this. It says, stylish, dark, and alluring. Generous quantities of Cyprian Latakia are blended with matured red Virginias, exotic orientals, and just a little bright flu-cured leaf to offer a deep, full-bodied, yet silky smoke with an intriguing sweetness, enhanced by a discreet and mysterious spice. Maltese Falcon possesses an exquisite balance, a wonderful all-day English-style mixture. So a little background information on this. Maltese Falcon was originally introduced in 2008 as a replacement for Raven's Wing, another GLP's blend. And Raven's Wing had a mixture of Syrian and Cyprian Latakia. And then a fire destroyed the entire stock of Syrian Latakia that they had. And so he tried to reblend Raven's Wing. It turned into Maltese Falcon. So obviously there's no Syrian Latakia in this, just the Cyprian. I have never had the original Raven's Wing, so I don't know how close Maltese Falcon is, but it's a very good blend in its own right. So let's get into this here. The blend type is an English mixture. The blend contains Cyprian Latakia, mature red Virginias, flu-cured Virginia, and Turkish Orientals, as we read in the tin description. And now we have some vital stats. Let's get into them. Flavoring in this one. This is interesting. I'm not detecting any obvious added flavoring, but as they even mentioned in the tin description, there does seem to be this little extra something, maybe a topping, maybe a casing, this kind of sweet and spicy sort of thing. I don't know exactly what it is. Couldn't find out any in information about it, but there does seem to be something, but I'm gonna say officially none detected because we all know that even though some things have toppings and casings, it's whether or not I can obviously tell what the topping is um, will determine whether or not I say that there is a flavor topping. So I'm gonna say none detected here. The cut is a ribbon. Let me show you that right now. GLP's Maltese Falcon. There's the tin art there. You have kind of an art deco looking Maltese Falcon image on the side. If we pop this open, take out the insert, there is the blend itself. You can see a nice proportion of black Latakia, some of that brighter, probably the flu cured Virginia there, and then the darker reds, matured red Virginias. Nice ribbon cut, easy to deal with, easy to pack, nice moisture content, just a little bit like kind of moist towelette out of the tin, but easily packable. Excellently presented. Excellent. Back to the vital stats. Strength on this one, I'm gonna say medium. That's the body, the mouthfeel. The taste though, I'm gonna say medium full. It's, it's a little more rich, a little more full flavored. I couldn't say it's completely full or just completely medium. So I'm gonna down the middle say medium full. Nicotine level medium as well. Moisture from tin, my tin anyway was moist towelette. It was easy to pack right out of the tin, but it could use just a tiny bit of dry time. And then the packaging, there are two ounce tins like this and also available. And then the packaging, there are two ounce tins like this, and then it's also available in eight ounce tins. So what about the tin note? Let's crack this baby open and I will tell you what I smell. Mmm, nice, rich, smoky Latakia. And there is a hint of, there's this combination of sweet and spiciness 
a little sour in there too, but the spiciness. As I mentioned when I was talking about maybe the topping or flavoring added, there's this, this little extra something. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it comes through in the tin note. All right, let's get to the actual review. I'm gonna light this baby up and I'm gonna tell you what I think. Hmm, okay, mechanically, let's get that out of the way. Had no issue at all, a really easy to deal with ribbon cut. Like I said, it was moist towelette out of the tin, but you could still load a pipe straight from the tin. Could use just a tiny bit of dry time, but by the time you crack a tin, if you've been smoking it, you know, within a week, it will probably be at the perfect dry or the perfect moisture content. So don't really worry about that. Packs easily, lights easily, didn't have any issue with relights, with it going out, uh, was able to always finish the entire bowl. So really well behaved mechanically. How does it taste? First things first, I really like this blend. And it might be up there as one of my favorite English blends now. I can't really say that unless I've had several tins of this, but just initially smoking about half of this tin that we have here, it's really doing something for me and I really like it a lot. It's really well balanced. You might get more of a hit of the Latakia when you first light your pipe, but that recedes a little bit. It's always there. This is always, you know, a strongly Latakia, Latakia flavored blend, but the initial really strong hit you get when you first light, that recedes into the background a little bit. And then you get this nice combination of all these flavors working so well together. I think I mentioned in the first impressions video that it had that creosote bitterness that I really enjoy. Um, blends like Gaslight really come to mind when I think of that flavor. So you've got the smoky, rich Latakia. You've got this creosote, bitter, tar kind of flavor that I know doesn't sound great, but it is really great in this blend. I get chocolate. I get orange. I get the spiciness, sort of a ginger flavor. I don't know if I can put my finger exactly on what spice I am tasting. In my mind, ginger is what comes up. There's a sweetness. There's this nice sharp piquancy coming through, probably from the Orientals. There's all these things coming in together, but it's not heterogeneous. It doesn't taste out of place. Everything melds together really well. It's really good. It's not super, super strong, I wouldn't say. But there's so much going on, it's hard, to, it's hard to put this into words exactly. There are a lot of different little flavors that you can pick up, a lot of different things going on, but they blend together so well that it doesn't seem like a super strong, super rich blend. It settles down into a really nice lane, sort of like Dunhill Standard does for me, where it's just a really good quintessential English blend. Even though there are a lot of extra little things going on in this blend, they don't make it messy or busy, if that makes any sense. I used to always keep a tin of formerly Dunhill, but currently Peterson standard mixture around as just my kind of basic quintessential English blend. If I felt like an English, that's what I would often go for because it would never disappoint me. And I think I'm going to try Maltese Falcon in that role for a while. I'm going to be ordering more tins of this. Maybe in a few months, I will give you an update, but as of now, GLP's Maltese Falcon, it's really, really good, and I'm really enjoying it. And as far as a lot of the things that I like just mechanically, the fact that it's a ribbon cut and that it's really easy to deal with, that sort of helps as well, because I love Gaslight, but you know, you have to do a little bit more preparation with that cut. This is just a really simple to use ribbon cut, and the blend itself is absolutely delicious. I love GLP's Maltese Falcon. Hopefully you will like it too if you check it out. Thank you so much for watching this review of GLP's Maltese Falcon. I've been your good friend Bradley, you've been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things, I'll see you later.